Hold on, everybody. I need to check, uh, change something. Um... Well, it's not really gore. It's not blood. It's not guts. Survival? Maybe. Zombie? No. Zombies. Okay. Um, bat man. Till bat man. <laughs> wow, really? Bat. Man, uh, yes. Oh no! Wait, we really got Batman. Hold on, that man tell 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 series. Um, <laughs> the bat. Huh. I would, I would actually put that. Um, what else? Yeah, English uh, friendly back seating. Uh. Choices? Choices. Choices. Oh, wait. Choice based game. Uh, choices. Choices. Okay. <clears throat> I think that's about it. <sighs> Batman. Oh, no, wait a minute, we got... Hold on a second. Why, why do we have two of the same thing? Alright, well, I can't... Alright, tonight, chat, we are going to start a new series. The Telltale Batman series. And yes, I know some of you are going to say that I've already streamed it. Unfortunately, I do not have the playlist on YouTube. So, my dumb dumb self forgot to save it onto YouTube. So, we're going to do this series. We may, um... Uh, good old-fashioned iced coffee. Mm-mm-mm. So, without further ado, we are going to do the Telltale series of Batman. Um, some of you may not like it, and if that is your decision, well, I'm not going to stop you. But for the rest of the people who do enjoy Batman, or like Batman, or like to watch anything involving Batman, you're welcome to say, let's start this series with Batman, Mr. Bruce Wayne. Ooh, la sexy, sexy Bruce Wayne. Oh. I do want to also say, I may need to take a 30 minute break each time, because, are you serious right now? Hold on. Try to talk it, bro. Alright, I may need to take a 30 minute break each time, because I, uh, I started making ice in my ice maker, because, in case... Any of you don't know how to read the description or the bio or profile, whatever the hell you want to call it. In case you don't know how to read, I live in crappy California and we suffer for a lot of heat and I do not like a lot of heat. I am a cancer survivor. Fucked all of my fucking sweat glands. I think that's what it's called. So yeah. Instead of me suffering a little bit from the heat, now it's like a hundred times worse. So, yeah. Anyways. There you go. Yes, sir. Mm. Some of you want me to play um, Shadow Edition. And unfortunately, I don't want to... Do that, so we're just playing Classic Edition, okay? Alright, let's start this off. Yeah, I wanna... Nope, I wanna do it.
Wait, what? Let's just keep it right there. Ooh, let's see. Blue, red, yellow, or purple. You know what? Let's go with my favorite color, which is purple. Since chat doesn't want to fucking talk, I get to decide. I'm being too harsh. No, it's... This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. It's not that I'm being mean. I'm just being honest, chat. I mean, you guys can fucking chat in the chat. You can talk to me, okay? I am your friend. I'm not a total bitch, okay? But anyways... Jesus Christ, that's too loud. Okay. That's really, really too loud. I don't even think the fucking chat can hear me. Jesus. We soon, my dude. City Hall. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't read that. City Hall, 8.32 p.m. Ah. <sighs> Goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Oh, 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 oh buddy. Gotham. The Gotham City Hall. Oh, Christ. <sighs> oh. Uh-oh. They're on the 52nd floor. I'm going in. Hey, wait! Wait for backup! Don't need it. <laughs> Take the stairs. I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder uh -huh. the cops want him dead. Mm. You ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. <laughs> hmm. Ooh, sexy purple. Ooh, looking good, Batman. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh, you're about to have a bad time, my dude. <laughs> Woo! I am Batman. Uh oh. Woo! Bruce. Bruce. Hello. I can't keep doing this. I have to. <sighs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safer now. Hey, Grub. It's made you a target. Face Grub for the follow. The I appreciate it. Until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. Different usernames. Interesting. Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I hope you enjoy your nap, Grub. Thanks, buddy. Have a good nap. Now, squeaky chair, stop squeaking. Wee. What's that? Oh, God. Oh, man, you're about to have a bad day, dude. Whee! Oh, man. Whee! Back 
to back. Circle up. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, God. Bruh. I know you're trying Ow. to create a myth. But be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. <sighs> Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, that time I almost missed. Damn. That when I have ended well. Wee. If you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. <laughs> Don't you She's a bad kitty. A wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. He likes you.
<laughs> Hoi. I wouldn't be so sure. Hey, hey, that's cheating, actually. Go to all that trouble for this. Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God damn it! But then don't shoot me. No, wait! <sighs> I was wrong about you catching me. <laughs> Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Don't struggle or you'll fall. Oh, but that's what you crave. The struggle. I know men like you. <laughs> Wayne tonight. <laughs> oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. <laughs> yeah. Well then. <sighs> Oof. Time to save the city. Oh man, that uh, <laughs> the visual on uh, <laughs> Bruce in the back. Oof. Look at all Thank those you. pixels. Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent mm -hmm. is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause. He would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. <laughs> uh... Hi, Bruce. And I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you, thank you again, mm. everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? 
<laughs> I really prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Relax, it was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What, a chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? <laughs> it's it's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. I want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> And I can see him just fine from here. <laughs> this shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stick. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. <laughs> the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. <laughs> this will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. Mm -hmm. all right, all right. How about uh, a new face for Gotham? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm going to use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Oh no, we're not shaking hands with that douchebag. Nope, I refuse to shake his hand. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. Mm. You believe in Dent? We believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Yep. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. Hmm. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. This city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bob. Whoa. Regarding golden age? Seems you're getting cranky in yours. <laughs> There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. Actually, and he it's can. It's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum. Mm. state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. Mm. I, I do apologize, chat. I'm going to take this sign to go check on my ice maker, and then I want to go to the bathroom. I do apologize for the skin. I'll be right back.
Okie dokie. Hang on, chat. Sorry, chat, not chat. Sorry. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to put the timer on for another 30 minutes because I don't want to forget. Okay, let's do this. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only the <sighs> deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Mm. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. Oh, no. And Bruce. thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Hmm. More alcohol. Well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mm. mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Mm. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Everyone loves the host. You're king for a day. <laughs> Just a day? Well, I would have guessed Bruce Wayne has that feeling year-round. Yeah, well, I take nights and weekends off. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, you've, you've got something on your collar. Um, oh. Is that blood? Uh-oh. Yeah. It looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It's just, uh... Cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one person. No. Nope. nope, we're not greeting it. Colin Him, Tony? sorry. Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. But at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. Uh, no. This is my house, my uh, rules. I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. My family built this house. It's not for sale. Everything's for sale, Mr. Wayne. No, and I'm good. Every one. Just need to find the right currency. I'm good. I'm mind, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Uh, no. I'm not, I'm not shaking your hand. I'm not. You're, uh... Respectable man, I hear. J 
Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. All right, douchebag. Let's go. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At what? Where's the audio? What the fuck? You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever I, you... I, what did I say? Hmm. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. Hey, douchebag. But I didn't say you could drink my wine. There's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much. Chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. <laughs> Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat, or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Nah, you're a douchebag. Okay, imagine this is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. If Harvey gets elected. What? That's what? why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Yeah, that's not happening. Hey, this isn't a deal with the devil. You listen to me, kid. Oh, I know fuck you. Inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Yeah, kiss my money ass. Money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. Nah, I'm good. And which to break? Whatever you say. Oh, You're a good kid. You oh. look like him, you know. It's nice that we understand each other. Okay, douchebag. Don't touch me. Don't I ever Mr. touch Bruce, me. Your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... <laughs> I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. Good, I was nice offering. Like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. While this city's still standing. Good, douchebag. I was not offering my house anyways. Batman! The Telltale Series! Dun dun dun! Fucking douchebag comes in here like he owns the place, and he wants to demand my house. Like, no, I, I don't think so, buddy. Fucking squeaky chair, man. I need to fucking oil it or something. Okay, what is going on with my it's fucking? Me. Oh. <laughs> Imagine he says it's me and the computer's like Voice not recognizable Fuck off <laughs> Episode 1 
realm of shadows. The good part about this series is I don't have to look for the trophies. I really got all the trophies, so. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Chat. Mm. fell off a building for this. Okay. Analyze the data drive at back computer. Okay. Um. I want to make sure that I don't uh, this. Ah, this one. Yeah, I don't want to click the other one because it's going to freeze or pause the stream and then it's going to fuck up the stream, so... Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. <laughs> in front of a computer. I'll leave as soon as I finish. People with <laughs> regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. <laughs> I agree. It isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Uh, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Hmm. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. <laughs> hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Aww. Well, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Hmm. <laughs> Why you been name? to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah. Thanks for the interruption. Well, it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. <laughs> for the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. Hmm. I'll check the codex. Uh, yeah, but then it's going to fucking freeze the thing. Ugh. Okay, chat. If it freezes the stream, I will come back. Don't worry. Oh, boy. Found her. Okay. Okay, we found her. Let's... Not much to find, apparently. Burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. 
You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. <laughs> I was talking about Bruce. Oh. Oops. Yeah, I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. Hmm. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. Well, the car uh. helps. <laughs> yeah, drive that thing like a bat out of hell. <laughs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. Aww. One more worry for the list. Poor Alfred. I feel so bad for him. Poor guy. Oh. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Man, that so picture is so blurry. Legal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints. That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. <laughs> I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Since we don't have to worry about trophies, let's just uh, continue you, on. Uh, I guess give a little change. Uh, thank you, sir. Meet you by the statue. There's the statue, but no Oz. Wait a minute. Hold on. I was trying to look at this. Uh oh. Watch wallet cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you <laughs> heard it, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. And him. Uh oh. Gentlemen. Oh, douchebag! All right. This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. the moment. Come here. Think that'll do? Stay down. Hey. Is 
to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Hey. Oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh, yeah. good as new. <laughs> oh, that was a right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been mm. one, two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, no, that wasn't why I brought you in, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Mm. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. It's a shame what happened. It was beautiful once. And now it's a hellhole. Last thing my parents ever built. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum. Committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. Sheesh. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. Fuck. No, Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Mm. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. I'm... I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily. Oh, wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And. Woof. It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. <laughs> Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Mm. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that wade in the front. All right, hold on. I need. I apologize, chat. I need to go check on something, and I gotta go to the bathroom again.
Okay, finish with the ice maker. Let's get back to the episode. Oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Lars. Nice to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. <laughs> oh boy. Good seeing you, Bruce. But I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. <laughs> Locks to collect, okay. Let's see. Press conference for new hospital starts soon. Car waiting on south south what? south side of park. I do apologize, chat, for the bathroom breaks and uh ice maker breaks. I uh <laughs> you drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> Makes you want pee a lot. Oh, here we go. Mr. Wayne, over here. Right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Morning, okay. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> well, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, oh, oh, oh. with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Hi, Bruce. For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible. But yeah. inside, they're suffering. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. Aww. Poor Bruce. Who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we create a new face for Gotham. Mm. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. Woo! I'm a... Uh... Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I say we leave the asylum standing as a reminder that we can do better. This time, we won't fail those who need us most. We all right, who's up next? What? Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. 
You and Mr. Um, Dent even spoke with him behind closed doors. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. Yeah, exactly. About the hospital, remember? But uh -oh. Mr. White, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly Shit. are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? I don't comment on rumors. Why don't we just stick to real journalism here? Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Uh -oh. Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long oh. has your family been dealing with Falcone? Oh, oh, oh. Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Hmm. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill, in the rain, with skates on. Alfred. Keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. <laughs> <Of course not>. <laughs> <laughs> I meant what I said about not personal. Mm. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. Oh, Gordon. It covers your place, pardon me, places of residence and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. Hmm. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Oh boy, Gordon, please, don't, don't do that. Oh, come on. Oh, Bruce. I feel so bad for him. Bruce, stay back! Take whatever you want! You... you don't have to do this. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, it's... 
It's not a problem, really. Ah, <sighs> Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Hmm. Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. I appreciate the offer, Miss Vale, but trying to say I'm the good guy here instantly makes you look bad. Exactly. So let me say it for you. The Gazette mm. received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not mm. wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had and never will have connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Yeah, right. I don't like you, Vicky, or whatever the fucking name is. Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Go away. Goodbye, Miss Will. Yeah, goodbye, Miss Will. Go away. Go. Shoo shoo. I do not like that woman. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents. It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Oh, we're making good time. An hour and nine minutes. Cafe Faye Tristy, 5.23 p.m. Oops. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. Then I'll go it alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. We're in a bind here, Bruce. I'll do whatever I can to help. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry, I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. 
<laughs> uh oh. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What was your name again? It's Selena. Selena Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? It's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? I was mugged. <laughs> yeah. I was angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. <laughs> I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh, sensitive? Very. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. I'm sure your clients will understand. I doubt it. In my business, people aren't very forgiving. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. I'm sorry yeah. to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I don't need one. I do this... because I can. And I thought you were on some noble crusade against crime. Wait, what? Silly me. Wait a minute. That's complete bullshit. Can we redo this? Oh, hold on. Can we actually redo this? Yes, I want to continue. I just hope it leaves me back in the in the section that I'm thinking about. Uh, it is a normal thing, but hmm. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files... Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. <sighs> and he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? It just doesn't make sense. 
I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. Then I'll go it alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. We're in a bind here, Bruce. I'll do whatever I can to help. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no. Just glad you made it. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I think we'd both welcome a change of topic. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What was your name again? It's Selena. Selena Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? It's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. It's not your fault. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. I'm sure your clients will understand. I doubt it. In my business, people aren't very forgiving. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. <laughs> nice to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? Someone has to be the good guy. I suppose you think that makes me a bad girl? Well, aren't you? <laughs> you have something that belongs to me. Nah. I want it back. Nah, we're good. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. Who hired you to break into the mayor's office? My clients prefer to remain confidential. They don't know who I am, I don't know who they are. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, it looks like you've made your bed. 
No, we've made this bed, and I'm not gonna lie in it alone. Ooh. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. In fact, I spend most of my time avoiding them. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. Nah, I'm good. Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. Nah, we're good. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. Oh, then I guess you're not getting it. I guess I'm screwed either way. Yeah, you My ain't contract. getting it. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. <laughs> Where are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Hmm. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. <sighs> Shit. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay? Okay, I, I apologize, chat. Uh, I drank way too much coffee. I need to take another bathroom break. Okay, no more bathroom breaks. I'm getting kind of annoyed right now. A drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. <laughs> she got jokes. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, it said warehouse 143. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. Eastside Docks, 6.44 p.m. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Oh, what? Oh. Oh. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. 
knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Nothing left to bury. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. <laughs> I'll see what I can piece back together. Mm, this is going to take a little while. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Hmm. Hold on. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. No. That bad? Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Skylight Club. This man's been badly burned. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. Ooh. What did this? Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Not done yet, chat. Hold on. Um, oop. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Yeah, we're not done yet, so hold the horses. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Nothing? Okay. Open sesame. Ooh. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Uh, right there. The 
The scrap of metal is from the exploding canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Okay. Can we not go up? <laughs> dun, dun. Can we not go up? Uh... Never seen a bullet do that. Thinking. A cop shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. So then, well, okay, hold on. Hang on. Uh, no. <coughs> <coughs> It's not that. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, maybe. Don't think so. No, no proof. Uh, break wink. Fuck, I know. The scrap of metal is from the exploded canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. I don't fucking know. Me no wanna think. Too much thinking. Just wanna play the game, my dude. No? Oh, come on! I don't fucking know. It's been ages since I played this game. Someone drove off after the explosion. Okay. Fucking no! So fucking annoying. I guess somewhere. I don't fucking know. I needed an adult, my dudes. Dude, this game expects me to fucking do all this shit? That, that's called a lot of thinking. I don't want to do a lot of thinking. Los Angel does not like to do a lot of thinking. She likes to just play and play and play and play. Um, let's see. I don't 
no. Is there a way to put on fucking hints or help? Let's see. Selectables? Don't need that. Gameplay. Uh. Wait a minute, what? What was that? Standard shores all points of interest in the environment as whereas mineral heights I don't fucking know I just need fucking help I need help I'm old I, I don't got patience with this shit oh wait a minute Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Have you put it together? Yes. Oh, I did. Yay! Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turn grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. It was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No. But based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. Hmm. And would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. For a spike, clear vantage point. We have a winner. Hmm. Killing time. This is the right spot. So, where did he go? Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. <laughs> My turn. Don't make me. 
me add your corpse to this graveyard. <laughs> no, Coney. Why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. Talk, and I spare you an ambulance ride. <laughs> police won't offer the same. Not to a cop killer. Mm -hmm. Rather chance them than talk to a clown like you. <laughs> this clown can kick your ass, my dude. <laughs> trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Ha <laughs> ha Oh no. Boost, we are not True doing that. Said about you. You're a freaking animal. Whatever it takes to make you talk. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Oh. Inside. Tell me the plan. Or I start swinging. Oh. <laughs> Catwoman was supposed to hand over a drive at the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. No! No, 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 no. No! Stop! You, you can't do that! No! Please don't! Oh, God, no! No! Don't do it. Batman, don't do it. Don't do it. I don't want to do it! Stop! You, you can't do that! Please don't make me do this. I don't want to do this. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals is some kind of explosive. A weapon. I don't know. Balcone said he'd use them soon. Used where? That's all I know. I swear. I swear. I told you. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. Freeze! Don't move! Stand down, Montoya. No. Thank God. You was about to kill me. You want to tell me what the hell this is all about? I told you he was about to kill me. What are you waiting for? Falcone was behind this. Falcone, huh? I thought he'd been a little quiet lately. <laughs> Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. Appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. Causes people to go berserk. Turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. <laughs> You're taking this too far, Bruce. Hmm. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this preposterous <coughs> attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject. But as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me. I won't lose my way. It's Aww. quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. Oh, Alfred. As so long as you can find your way back. You bury the pearl <coughs> for a good, 
never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. Out of everyone, I feel bad for Alfred the most. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. <laughs> oh. Uh... Looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. You see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. <sighs> this is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. <coughs> uh, I like Gordon more. I, I don't like Vicky. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police, and Batman by any means necessary. <laughs> Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. <laughs> this... This is a silver bullet. What? What? It's what? It's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. Silver bullet? But we're the good guys. I don't know where you got this. No, you don't. Uh -huh. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. Everyone on the force will too. We've been looking for this kind of firepower for years. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. <laughs> no need to blow smoke. I got enough cancer coming my way as it is. Oh, Gordon. Oh, thank you. Honestly. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby. For once. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. Uh, uh, so excuse you me? Know this is not going to change a thing about the investigation of your family? Uh, excuse me? Wayne's always supported the Gotham police. So I like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. There are no strings attached. I just want Falcone gone. You and me both. I'm not <coughs> as scary as mugshot. <laughs> His fat mugs shot. <laughs> I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. 
Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. <laughs> We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant? Hey, stick to Jim. Hmm. All right, Jim. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> Oh. oh, big room, room. Oh, like a kitty purring. Oof. Skyline Club, nine nineteen PM. Oh god. The drone's cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. <coughs> Let's see. Good point of entry. <laughs> yeah, I, I I bet you are. Cameras. The entire floor is under surveillance. You'll be detected as soon as you enter. No time for subtlety. You make your round? Yeah. No broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burned powder tonight. The whole city can smell it. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. The red rose after tonight. Nothing here. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. <clears throat> Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. of options for taking this guy down.
Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Bruce, have you formulated your plan of attack? I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. <laughs> <laughs> How about this one? They can't sneak up on me. EMP armed. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. Oh, Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Where are they? What? 
I found your calling card at the docks. The White Rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? <laughs> yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it in a dead bath. <laughs> Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Give him a show! Spill it, Balcony, while you still can. It's the wings. They're behind all this. What do you mean? You wanna save this city? Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! No! <clears throat> reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest, and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about. The Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back, saying, The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We've never had, and never will have, connections to organized crime. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes' time in the sun is ending. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! No. Oh, poor Alfred. Don't take it out on him. Oh, you little douchebag. Episode one, Realm of Shadows. Woo! What a roller coaster. Did you stick up for Hori in front of Falcone? You earned 67.1% of 
players defied Falcone by inviting Hari into the private meeting. Oh God, excuse me. <clears throat> Did you provide a quote for Vicky's story? You and 85.4% of players chose to control the emerging rain story and provided Vicky with a quote. Did you break the dark shooter's arm? You and 51.3% of players showed mercy in your interrogation of the dark shooter. And in case you're wondering, chat, um, the reason why I keep reading out certain stuff or saying certain stuff is um, some of you are probably just listening need to the stream while you're doing something and while well, that's fine i want you to be sure um you know what's going on just in case you can't watch the stream but you're listening in so that's why i'm doing all this <clears throat> who did you give the falcone oh coney data to you and 72.4 percent of players gave the falcone data to Lieutenant Gordon instead of making the information public for Vicky Will. I trust and I like Gordon more than that bitch Vicky and eventually you all will understand right and if you really know what happens later on uh, I won't say it but you eventually find out. How did Batman deal with Falcone at the end? You and 82% of players showed restraint and handed Falcone over to the police safe and sound. Um, okay. Continue to next time on... When your parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. The evidence you brought me on Falcone held up. Maybe I misjudged you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters, too. I wonder who he's after next. Hell of a view! <laughs> Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. I have to... distance myself. I will find the truth. Ooh. Along with anyone who stands in my way. Uh, yeah, I, I really know about the Batman series, so you don't have to tell me. Huh? No, not not tonight, buddy. We we gotta go back. Come on. All right. So that was Batman Realm of Shadows episode one. I hope you all enjoyed the the episode. Um, I've decided. Uh, well, I've decided that I'm going to leave episode one on here for you guys to watch on Twitch, but I will upload it to YouTube. But uh, episodes two, three, and four will not be available to watch uh if you want to watch it you are more than welcome to watch it on my youtube channel but those episodes will be only available on youtube the reason why i'm doing this is because i'm noticing a lot of reviews for twitch for the twitch videos and while that's fine and dandy i would rather have the reviews for my youtube channel so please remember to smash that like button leave a comment if you want um, and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have my YouTube channel link in the disc description. Why is that on my leg? Uh, in the description, if you need, um, 
if you need help trying to find the link, you should be able to find it. Um, and if you're not following my Twitch channel, go ahead and follow it. You'll be notified when I go live. You'll be also notified when you can watch the newest, latest videos. Um, and as always, take care everybody. Have a good night.